Hello again. On this video, we'll install the FMC uh, Firepower Management Center on VMware ESXi host. Uh, what you'll need is the software from Cisco software download page. Uh, you would go for the FMC V VMware install package for ESXi. Uh, I already have the file. Uh, it comes in an archive, so you would need to unarchive it or unzip it. Uh, either way, uh, it is an OVF file, so this is how we are going to install it. Uh, we'll click the create register virtual machine, deploy virtual machine from OVF or OVA file, uh, enter the name for our machine that we want to use, uh, go to the folder, uh, if you are not sure, but these are the SXI um, VM VK and the SXI files, I'll just choose all of them and it will choose the right ones, actually, even you see that it chose the VI 704.55 OVF and the VM VK. Okay. Uh, either or, um, Again, if you're not sure, you can just choose all of them and it will select the right ones. Uh, you will choose the data store you want to install the image to. Uh, licensing agreement, of course. We'll give it a second. And for that, I want to install in my management network, um, but my management network would be, so let's take a quick look, uh, I'll choose switches. Drunk, I have, I can use this one, FTT trunk. or I can also use this one, management, this whole thing is in V110, I remember. Uh, let's just take a quick look. Okay, one, five, jump, I draw the unique one, six, five, for some reason. Strange enough, And mix zero and five. It's a layer two switch, so we're not going to have a NARP entry. Let's see. Okay, 
Okay, we do. We do one then, but it. Okay, the F2. 38 F2. 38 F2 is on fast Ethernet 01. Which is mode access. So this whole uh, port, I'm not sure why I haven't uh, described this, but I will definitely do here. Description it is for VM NIC 01. Switch 0. This switch 0. All right, this is where we want the FMC, so it will be in our management network. Uh, let's go again OVF, OVA installation, choose all the files, it will select the right ones name your FMC, uh, choose the data store, agree on the licenses, next, we'll choose, well, anyway, uh, management, thin provision, And we'll finish uh, with these settings. Uh, it will go ahead and run that. Um, I'll pause the video. I'll be right back once it's done. Okay, so uh, the installation was complete. I did power on the machine. I like these green okays, okay signs uh, telling us things are going well. Uh, we'll see uh, the whole process. Uh, as it may take up to 10 minutes, I'll go ahead and pause the video and get back to you for the initial config of the FMC. Okay, the installation finished, so we'll log in to our FNC Firepower uh, with admin as username and admin with capital A123 at the end. Uh, it will ask us to go through the initial setup, which we'll do. Um, here we want to agree with the EULA. Uh, the new password we want to use. Okay, let's try that. No. Okay, we want host name or fully qualified domain name for this system, uh, which we can use. Uh, let's say FMC. Uh, 
or firepower power dot my CCIE that dot com so we'll use a manual configuration for the IP and we want it to be 192.168.10 uh, it's always nice to check what's going on with the IPs in my network. At 10, 11, 12, 13. This is the Okay, so I guess fourteen. Fourteen. Make sure you keep a list with those IPs somewhere. Okay. Let's see. Get back here and dot fourteen. Okay, it's twenty four. The mask and ten one is the gateway. Uh, the DNS servers at this point uh, are 212.39.90.42.88. You can have multiple separated with comma. Well. I don't have NTP server at this point, so I'll just set say enter to this one. This is uh, the configuration and it looks correct to me. So I'll say yes. And I should be able to open this on 192.168.14. Let's take a look. See if I can ping it. Okay, ping is working. Uh, HTTPS most likely is what I'm missing, of course. It has its own uh, license. It's self-signed license for the firepower uh, we'll use our admin and our new password let's see if i got it correct okay so it should uh, take us through initial config yes like this is for the evaluation and as we're going to use it with evaluation License will just do this, but before that, what I want is to make a snapshot This is only so when it... I'll have a lot of months for preparing, so uh, I just want to um, have this easier to set up once it expires the evaluation. Okay, save this. Okay, uh, let's take a look. Let's 
Smart Licensing and see if we have uh, license it yeah the evaluation period expires in 89 days so that's pretty much it in the next video I'll have uh, the Firepower Threat Defense device uh, installed on the server and uh, we'll connect it to the FMC. Okay, see you on the next one. Bye.